I won't like that one. easily either of course uh, okay that can go with the other one stupid nails okay um, there. oh that one's loose in there now that's okay we're gonna do something with the back anyway I'm still debating on what that's gonna be That's actually, that, that is not the same size now. Okay. For certain things, crooked nails don't matter, but this particular thing, I really just don't want a crooked nail like that. Now I'm at the point where I can have this kind of rest against my hip and keep it, keep it there. There are smaller ones mixed in there now, too. Oh. I hope I have enough of these ones. I'm running low on them. I might have to use a crooked one here and there. Like that one is a little bit crooked too. That's okay. I didn't realize that middle center section is actually mixed nails. Hmm? That's okay, honey. We're all done for the night on the video game, okay? who plays first player. Yes, it does. Okay, well, I'm sorry. Oh, that one looks terrible. Okay, that one looks absolutely awful. I cannot keep that one in there. It's actually not that terrible now that it's on there. I might leave it. Can you move back, honey? That's very sharp, sweetie. Please. Please move back. Move back. Move back. Okay. It's all sharp. You can be out here. Just don't be right next to where I am with this. Okay, please? Okay, we're going to... The Dragons movie's on. Do you want to go watch that with Adam? I'll be done in just a minute, okay? super hard to get out. Okay, um, here. Okay, move your hand, honey. Move your hand, sweetie. Okay. Move your hand, sweetie. This should be in the garbage. Yes, it should be. Do you want to go do it? Oh, you can go throw it out in the garbage for me. Oh, no. That would be so helpful. Thank you. There we go. Now Good boy. Go. Okay. Good boy. Adam needs you. Do you want to go help Adam? Oh, honey, this is very loud though. I don't think it's very. 
entertaining. Is it? Maybe it's entertaining. I don't know. Okay. I have got four holes left to go. And then we're done. So I'm ready to be done with this part, to be honest, and get on to the next part, which I still am not sure what that is. I'm going to come up with it, though, in a hot second. All right. Um, how it would work to do that with pine um, because of the way that I was doing that on an angle. Um, this one here is a little bit bent out of the way so I'm just going to kind of try to resituate that one. Okay. Now you definitely could use your heckle as is or you could add something to the bottom. I'm thinking, um, if I, I'm not sure if I want like a non-skid grip to go along the bottom or if I want another piece of wood. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to use for that. Actually, might take. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna take a piece of felt. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. changed my mind. I'm not going to use felt. I am going to use a piece of vinyl. Got a hot glue gun here. I am going to take a piece of vinyl and I'm going to cut it to the right size. Um, crooked nails could be used for other things. This one, I think this one might have to go because I don't think that's going in anything. Okay. Okay, I've got marine vinyl here from embroidery stuff. Um, so I'm actually just going to go around this because I think that's going to provide me with a nice non skid. That's going to give me a nice non skid surface. Um, so I just want to use that. I want to I wanna put that under the bottom of mine, I think, because then it's not going to mar up my table. And it's also going to make it so it's non-skid. So basically, I am going to go as close as possible to this. Um, wood would probably be better, but I don't really have any more wood that is suitable for this that I am willing to use um, because I just don't. I'm going to cut this while our glue gun is heating up and at some time, you know, hot glue is, is semi-permanent but at some point if I wish to um, rip it off and put another piece of wood down there. Say I'm at the hardware store and I'm like, oh, what the heck, I'm going to get that piece of wood and put it on the bottom of my hackle, you know, for $3. Then I can definitely do that um, at, a, at another time. I'm going to cut this in a little bit closer than what I actually have um, drawn on there because it is actually a little bit smaller than that because of the lines that I drew 
you know, come out a little bit further than where the actual hackle was laid on this. So, there. I'm going to do that. And then, I am going to cut that and make that a little bit straighter. Then what I'm going to do, see if my glue gun's hot yet. Okay. Yeah, we're there. Okay. Um, so I want to take my glue gun and go along the bottom of this. I want to do one side first. I know it looks like it's sharp, but it's actually, it's not super sharp. Um, I mean, they are sharp. They should definitely be kept out of the reach of children and stuff. But um, that didn't like, you know, make my hand bleed or anything. Okay, my glue gun is not hot enough. I lied. It was not ready. <laughs> it was not quite ready. Okay. Um, I might actually tackle this the other way too and go ahead and glue the wood first. So I think that's going to work better. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. Glue down the wood first. Okay. Um, I need another glue gun. We are going to zoom in a bit. And I'm just going to start doing this and doing this because if I ever want to take this off again to put on a piece of wood, I don't want it to be stuck all over the nails and stuff too. I just don't want that if I ever decide, hey, I want wood on this really. I don't want to have it be like that. You know, I, I will be able to easily remove it. So I'm just doing a squiggle and a line on the top, a line and a squiggle on the bottom. 